What is up YouTube? I am your host Professor Sticks back at it again with another Call of Duty Warzone video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my top 5 most underrated loadouts that you should use before Season 5. With Season 5 just around the corner, we are going to be getting a shakeup in a lot of the weapons, some new additions, and hopefully a change in the meta. Right now we have a good balance of weapons, but I want to share with you some off meta weapons that you should be trying right now on Rebirth Island. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I make Warzone tips and tricks videos and I shared the best weapons in Warzone. Let's get right into it. Coming in at number five, we have the PPSH and the AS Val. Now, typically I would not recommend the AS Val because of the short mag size, but because we're gonna be pairing it with the PPSH, which has an incredible TTK at range coming in at an average 600 milliseconds, it means you can use the PPSH both as an SMG and also has a long range AR. Couple that with the AS Val and you are going to be absolutely impenetrable at close range range both of these weapons are very nifty so i do advise you to use it against multiple enemies you're gonna feel like you have a really strong game close to mid range now at long distance it is going to be a little tougher to use however this is a loadout that you want to be using especially on rebirth island where a lot of your gunfights are going to be close range here are the best attachments all right so very quickly for the as val you're going to want to go with the five milliwatt laser the merc foregrip the 30 round mag sleight of hand and the fss gen 4 Gru stock for the ppsh you're going to want to go with the Gru suppressor the task force barrel the tiger team spotlight the 71 round drum mag and the raider stock coming in at number four we've got the rpd and the psychov class now this is my favorite because it allows you to experiment with your second perk class you can either go ghost first or you can go with high alert i'm actually rocking high alert and i think that's going to be one of the best perks going into season five when they introduce the two new perks also high alert is going to allow you to hear dead silence so you want to start getting used to using high alert now the rpd is completely underrated it's got a good damage profile the ttk is one of the best in the lmg class and the recoil is very minimal i think you guys should definitely give the rpd a try if you're looking for an off meta lmg that you haven't tried out before now the psychov you all know that's an excellent pistol to use up close and that's why i'm suggesting it in this loadout all right here are the best attachments for the rpd you're going to want to go with the suppressor the task force barrel 120 rounds of ammunition the serpent grip and the axle arms 3x for the psychov you're going to want to go with the monolithic suppressor the 140 millimeter auto barrel the 5 milliwatt laser the 80 round drum and the vlk prisrac coming in at number three we've got the qbz now the qbz is a very fun weapon to use i consider it to be a close to mid-range ar if you can control that recoil you can definitely use it at long range now the qbz has amazing movement and so if you're looking to kind of run around the map and take on multiple teams going for high kill games the qbz is definitely one that you want to take a look at now the recoil is a little bit weird but if you can't handle it it is definitely a melter you want to make sure that you're aiming for the chest and at least hit one headshot to bring that ttk down into the mid 600s now pair that with the ots9 and you have a solid loadout right here the ots9 does have a little bit of a hiccup it's got 40 rounds of mag which is a little bit small however you are going to be able to take out at least one to two enemies with a full magazine i'm telling you guys right now this loadout is going to be a nifty one all right here are the best attachments for the qbz you're going to want to go with the agency suppressor the task force barrel the 60 round fast mag the serpent grip and the axle arms 3x for the ots9 you're going to want to go with the group suppressor the task force barrel the spetsnaz grip the 40 round fast mag and the KGB skeletal stock. Coming in at number two, we have the M13 and the Bison. Now, the Bison is a really good SMG. It's got a big magazine, and also it does do quite a bit of damage up close. It's really great at hip firing. It's a really excellent weapon for those who are new to the game because the recoil is just not that much. Now, you pair that with the M13, which also doesn't move but has a high rate of fire, the M13 is an absolute friendly weapon. It is great to use. And if you mix in a couple of those headshots, you are going to down people very, very quickly. And it's a very accurate weapon, so you should definitely be able to hit those headshots. All right, here are the best attachments. For the M13, you're going to want to go with the Monolithic Suppressor, the Tempest Marksman Barrel, the VLK3X Optic, 
the Commando Foregrip, and the 60 round mag. For the Bison, you're going to want to go with the Monolithic Suppressor, the Polygonal Barrel, the 5 milliwatt laser, no stock, and sleight of hand. Coming in at number one, we have the most underrated sweaty loadout that I would use if I'm trying to go for high kill games, and that is the MAC-10 and the XM-4. The MAC-10, we already know, it's super fast. It's one of the fastest SMGs in the game. The rate of fire is absolutely insane, which makes it a very forgiving weapon. Combine that with the XM-4, and you have yourself a solid loadout. The XM-4 has an incredible rate of fire. It's very, very forgiving. The recoil is very easy to manage it might not be the greatest at long range but if you're going for those high kill games which means a lot of your fights are going to be up close and personal you're going to need to be very mobile you're going to love the xm4 because it's going to melt people at mid range you can also use it at close range and not only that you're going to have that mobility that is very crucial when you're taking on multiple enemies all right so here are the best attachments for the mac 10 you're going to want to go with the agency suppressor the task force barrel the striker grip the 53 round fast mag and no stock for the xm4 you're going to want to go with the agency suppressor the 13.7 inch ranger barrel the field agent grip the 60 round mag and the axle arms 3x all right guys so those are the top five most underrated loadouts that you need to try before season Five. Let me know how you guys feel about these loadouts. Comment down below if I missed anything. Are there some loadouts that I should be trying? Are you guys excited for season five? Let me know down below how you guys are feeling. I'm super excited for what's coming in the future, guys. Thank you so much for the support. I'm doing a lot of long talking here, but you guys absolutely do not understand how much you make me feel because the support has been so unreal. So thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. I love you guys. As always, make sure you guys hit that like button. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so you can find a way back for more Call of Duty content. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.